Good day, mates. I am Bill, the Asian Pirate. Welcome to my channel. This week, I finally got my stimulus check. So I thought to myself, what best use could I put some of that money to? Uh, we've needed a home computer uh, for the house. Our last one got hit by lightning. And I figured this would allow me to do a much better job of editing videos if I could do it on a computer and free up my camera devices to actually do the filming. Uh, so today, we are going to be doing an unboxing. I have here an HP laptop, and we're going to open this bad boy up and see what it looks like. So stay tuned. Welcome back, guys, to the Asian Power Channel, where I am unboxing this new HP computer. Let's see what I can tell you about it. I believe it is a model number 15 E's and Edward F is in Foxtrot 0023DX. It has an AMD Ryzen 5 processor. It's got Radeon graphics card, 256 gigabyte solid state drive. It's got 12 gigabyte of SDRAM, uh, no optical drive, and it comes with Windows 10 Home in student mode, mode I believe. It has a 15.6 inch. HD LED display and it is a touch screen multi-touch enabled laptop and on the other label here it has a serial number product number and shipping information so with that being said let's go ahead and open this box up and see what we can find okay so Pull out the box, and all right, so the box is empty, and that is empty. So what we have here is the laptop. It is very securely encased. Uh, in that little rectangular box came the power adapter for the laptop. And it's got all its regulatory stuff on it. And the power cord for it. Pretty straightforward, guys. It's not going to be much to this unboxing today. So we're going to go ahead and... What is this that fell out? This is the warranty and technical support card for your viewing pleasure. Okay, and underneath, are your setup instructions. Okay folks, so first thing that I'm going to show you guys is they give you a little sheet where if you have questions about the product, uh, they give you different options for contacting HP. Okay, and then like I said before, these are the setup instructions. So tells you basically what to do. Um, so the first step they're saying is to make sure that it's plugged in. So we're going to go ahead and unwrap this bad boy. All right. And let's see. Make sure everything's sealed okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and tear this open and pull the laptop out. this all right so we have the lovely HP and my assistant Taylor has already plugged in the power cord for me so that's gonna be the first step and we just got to figure out where it plugs into which I believe is gonna be this side here okay we are plugged in and step two is to power it on and go ahead and open this up and there's a little keyboard protector there very nice it's got that new computer smell all right so now power buttons on the left hand side here let me put the screen down a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing here so it's powering up And on 
the stickers here. It tells you about the battery life. And it has the stickers for the AMD Ryzen 5 processor. As well as the Radeon graphics chip. Turn this around so you guys can see it better. Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. And Cortana just a little sign scared here, the crap out of me. Put such a Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows. All right, so we've shut off Cortana because I don't want to deal with that. Okay, let's go. So let's start. What region am I in? So I'm not going to go through the whole setup on camera with you guys. I'm going to uh, go through the setup routine real quick, and then we'll come back and I'll show you the finished product when it's set up. Okay, guys, we're back, and I've had some time to play with this laptop. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts about it. My first complaint is it doesn't feel solid. Like when you tap on the keys or click on the mouse pad, it seems kind of flimsy. I'm sure they did that to make it more lightweight. And I never liked laptop keyboards to begin with, so I will definitely be buying a pro probably a USB wireless keyboard for heavy-duty typing purposes. Um, the screen resolution is not, I don't know if it's the resolution or if it's just the contrast. Uh, it, the, the images on the screen don't pop for me like I would like it to. Uh, it's definitely serviceable as far as looking at what you have to do on here. Um, but any, you know, it, it, it's not like a vivid display, like I would expect, like on my, on my Galaxy S10 plus, it's just not a sharp image, um, almost seems kind of hazy. Uh, so that's my thoughts on the display. One of the things that really irked me was I was trying to log into my Dropbox and when I was in the password field, I was trying to backspace to delete the password that was on there. But every time I hit the backspace key, it would take me out of the Dropbox sign-in page instead of moving the cursor. I don't know if that's a glitch with their software or not, but it's definitely annoying. The only way I could delete the uh, password that was uh, the characters that were in the password field was I had to highlight the characters and hit the delete button. Um, it doesn't do it everywhere. The only time that's cropped up so far is on the Dropbox sign-in. So I will be on the lookout for that to see if that happens elsewhere. So overall, my thinking is on a scale of A through F, F being a total failure, I'll give this laptop a C. Uh, for the price range, it's, it's definitely one of the better laptops for $500, uh, but it's definitely not a top-of-the-line computer. Um, so if you want top-of-the-line, you're going to have to spend Boku bucks to do that. But for average household use and homework and hopefully YouTube video productions, um, this laptop should fit the bill for me. Uh, I won't know for sure until I access and do PowerDirector on here to see how PowerDirector runs. Uh, but it does have 12 gigs of, of RAM, so uh, we will see how that works. And that's my teenager playing Fortnite. Anyway, guys, that's it for this uh, unboxing and review. And that's it for this episode of The Asian Pirate. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to receive future notifications. And give this video a thumbs up so others can find it as well. This is The Asian Pirate. Live long and prosper.